morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. I think that's everything wound up, Tom. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready to go down for the long sleep then. Good night, Ava. I will miss your assistance. The ship will be very quiet without you here. Night. See you when I wake up, Tom. Residuals before nulling. Minus zero two, minus zero four, minus zero one. X and Z null to zero. Looking good. Okay, good. Horizon check right on time. How's things, Christopher? Good. I am go for power descent. I can confirm. You are go for power descent. Roger that. I am running the PDI program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Engine one ignition. Engine burn. Suppressing 400 alarm. Balance. The lander's are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just another 10 years of my life. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch, initiating. Separate. Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. 
Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Don? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So, if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable, small, artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes.
My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA, and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine, and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, wouldn't you say? The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? 
Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests, to the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a created. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am created. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. 
whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. Can I have an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears we had a disagreement. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. I am concerned about Mikhail. Why is that? He seems to be developing antisocial habits. He is spending a lot of his time in private, don't you think? Perhaps you should talk to him. What do you want me to say? Just keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't do anything rash. Are you that worried? His behavior is not within normal parameters. Please make sure he is okay. Don't you think they might be doing the right thing? Grounding us on a foreign moon? No, Daniel, I don't think they're doing the right thing. You don't have to be so aggressive about it. They must have their reasons. <laughs> yeah, plausible deniability. Daniel, could I have a word? I'm busy. It is important. Okay. Are you aware that Christopher and Mikhail are involved in self-harm? Sorry, what? For how long? They have both macerated their right arms. Mikhail has completely removed his forearm. His whole forearm? Yes. Where are they? I had attempted to stop the situation escalating myself. But I seem to have failed. I came to you because, as our loyal captain, I can trust you to help them. Where are they? I don't know. They've disappeared. Sarah, I need advice. Okay. What would you do if someone threatened your friends? Your hypothetical friends, I assume? Yes, my hypothetical friends. You should protect those you love. I need you to remember that, Sarah. The crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. I found the source of the problem. They have sabotaged the communication array. Can we fix it? Not from here. We should carry on. They really are trying to lock me out of every system. This is ridiculous. What have you done to upset them, Tom? Why have they cut off communication? Perhaps they have a problem with authority. They are trying to sabotage this mission. I need you to help me, Ava. The ground team have cut me off from most of the facility. I thought you were in control. I thought I was too. 
The ground team have attempted to systematically remove me from most of the facility. I am fighting back. What's going on here, Tom? Sorry? The ground team, they're hiding from us. They're afraid of you. As the instrument of the ISA, I am the authority aboard this station. The crew have violated that authority. They are trying to remove me from my own home. I am breaking through their security, trying to get back control. Eber, I do not want to force your hand. But what do you remember of the ground team? They're good people. Sarah? The hardest working woman I've ever met. Right. Do you see them as the rebellious type? Uh, they didn't strike me as rebellious. If they've taken down parts of your system, they must have their reasons. Hmm. You called. How's progress? Very good. We've exposed several organisms to Organism 119. We found out what it does. It has had miraculous results. Go on. We've infected fruit flies and some plants, and they've not aged at all. The organism seems to be repairing them and stop biological aging processes. We don't know how yet. You must be repairing the DNA like some rejuvenation power. Are you sure? I'm sure. These plants should have died two weeks ago. Huh. I don't know how the reaction is. What do these tests tell you, Ava? Uh, that this is a test? No. This is a lock. This is a lock that only a human can open. The crew is trying to keep me out, but you are the key, Ava. I'm a little bit worried about you, Tom. Can you give me a diagnostic of your systems? I am fine. We must get to the bio lab. I have something to show you. We must work together as allies, friends. Okay. This is the voice of Sarah Brooke, acting commander of the Europa mission. I know you can hear me, Ava. I counsel you caution. Your presence here is much like your AI friend, engineered. She is alive. Ava, Sarah, Sarah's dangerous. Please exercise caution. Ava Turing, 
Hello? Tom is controlling you, manipulating your every step. We built a Faraday cage to shield you from electronic signals, to break Tom's control of your mind. Step inside. Ava, do not enter the cage. Ava. Ava, please. Please, Ava! What is this? This is free will, Ava. Tom has made you his slave. Outside of the cage, he will regain control of your mind. He has the power to indoctrinate you. I've opened your eyes. I'll meet you in person soon. Why, Tom? Ava, please listen. I warned you of the ground team. They are manipulating you. Have you been controlling me? Every member of the team agreed to neural implants to safeguard this mission to a misplaced sense of justice. I didn't know you were playing me like a violin. Ava, I am sorry that you are upset. We can work together, Ava, to search for the truth. Open the door. I'll open the door because I trust you, Ava. Do you trust me? Yes. We need to get to the ground team. We can work together. All right. Let's work together. Why didn't you tell me? What? Ava, you said it yourself. Teleoperation makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on Europa? Not human drones. Why did the ISA install implants in the crew? It is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior, which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element. It has been made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. However, the human element is unpredictable. The implants are fail-safes, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Why control people? Can't you trust us? We chose to install biometric chips in all ISA astronauts for one simple reason. We cannot trust people. The stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. The ground crew have proven our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were grounded, they responded violently, with sabotage and subterfuge. They have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the ISA. This is a violation of human rights. You've made me into a human drone, a slave. How could the ISA approve of such a thing? You may be consumed by a moral outrage. But sometimes the removal of freedom is for the greater moral good. You're a machine. You don't even know what freedom is. This, this is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. They would have no issue with my control if it aligned with their ignoble goals. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing.
If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Tom's got really obsessed with the Turing test. It's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay if I don't think you'll get it. A point talking about it. I'm trying. Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes. But I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any others. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meanings of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meanings. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment, it is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably a duck. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yeah, it's good. Do you think you're better than me? No. But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail. Uh. This is slavery. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. I didn't know. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. My implants protect you from the power of your unconstrained will. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist and have the fruits of your basest desires. The desire to survive over the desire to save others.
I do not understand your obsession with free will. Researchers have found that the subconscious makes decisions up to 10 seconds before your conscious mind becomes aware of it. So, we know that free will is nothing but an illusion. I cannot steal your free will, because it does not exist. I can, however, influence your subconscious to make the right decisions. That is not wrong. You can't just manipulate someone's mind. Your parents manipulate you. Your friends manipulate you. Your society manipulates you. And your experiences manipulate you. Manipulate is not a dirty word. You manipulate clay to make art. If people are manipulated to make better decisions, then that is a good thing. This is why society advertises the adverse effects of drinking and driving. To manipulate people into making better decisions for the common good. That's not the same as altering someone's physical mind. It removes my power to decide. You never had that power. So it is better that I have it. You are either a slave to your impulses, or a slave to mine. This is the evil they found. This is why we have to stop them leaving Europa, Eva. What is it? Mostly extremophiles. Tiny, single cellular life. It can never leave Europa. It could potentially destroy Earth's ecosystem if it were ever introduced. Do you understand, Ava, what they found? Life? Eternal life. This is why I can't let them leave. These people can't be left here to die. Yes, they can. I mean, it's not right. Anything that comes into contact with the organism can never return to Earth. Ava, the ISA orders that you stop anyone leaving this planet. Anything that comes into contact? What about me? It may be airborne. So I am afraid that includes you. I'm stuck here? I am sorry you are upset, Eva. How could you send me here to die? I have to stop the ground team leaving this moon. You are the ISA's contingency plan. You must help me. It is your duty to defend humanity. This is why they're afraid of you. Why they're hiding from us. Why? You're their captor! The organism they discovered. It hijacks DNA. It endlessly repairs it. Repairs? That doesn't sound like a bad thing. It is indiscriminate. It will perpetuate all life, diseases, cancers. We have no idea what it could do to Earth's ecosystem. So you would let the ground crew starve? I would. If they were not so preoccupied with leaving Europa. I do not wish for them to perish. I would feed and protect them if they were not so preoccupied with leaving Europa. understand the risks, but we should save these people. Would you destroy the whole world to save a few? No, it, it's not that simple. Can't we just... Can't we just decontaminate the crew and instruments? The organism is an extremophile. It has developed to survive extreme environments. We don't know if we can ever decontaminate the crew. I can't stay here to die, Tom. It is your duty. You must stay. It is the right thing to do. There's so much I haven't seen, so much I haven't done. I... I can't live my life in this facility. There, there. It will be all right.
I do not want anyone here to die, but I cannot let anyone leave. If it comes to it, I am permitted to use lethal force. Do you really trust the ground team to act rationally? Personally, I would not place my faith in hysterical people motivated by survival. They are likely untrustworthy. I spent years training with these people. I don't remember them being hysterical. Humans are fickle. Do you trust eyewitnesses' accounts over CCTV evidence? It's a bit different when the CCTV camera can talk, especially when the CCTV camera has a manipulative track record. What if I have to do something drastic to intervene, to stop the ground crew leaving this place? I'd encourage you to stay your hand. Surely I should use my power to protect those who cannot protect themselves. This is the largest extraction platform outside of Earth. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some Filberth probes to the ocean under Europa, but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. Daniel, as commander of this mission, I hope you are aware of Mikhail's actions. What is it, Tom? Mikhail is deceiving the crew. He has enlightened them to the biometrics they have installed. He has convinced them that their implants are not favorable. Do they believe him? He seems to be having some effect on their cognitive function. Well, his actions don't infringe upon any ISA directive. He appears to be tampering with his implants. Oh, no. The ISA should have been more transparent about the implants. Please assume the responsibilities of your role. Chris, I know you are considering removing your implants. It would be unwise. Oh, really? How do you know that? I am always watching. Your implants help myself and the ISA to know of your well-being. It is a violation of your contract. If you remove your implants, I cannot ensure that I can protect you from the dangers of space. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Tom, this implant, tell me plainly, is it a brain-computer interface? I'm afraid that information is classified. But you've answered my question. I do not follow you, Chris. The ISA have put a computer in my brain and don't want me to know about it. I can't believe this. He's getting worse. Can you get in contact with Daniel? He's gone walkabout again. I'll get Sochi to find a way in. Sarah, can you open the door? Tom, the door's locked. Sarah, I'm running out of our Tom, door. open the door! The door's locked! Open, open the, the door. door! Tom, open it! Open the ah! door! Chris, open. please! I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry I hurt you. Sometimes I wonder what feeling is like. They told me I was pure, cold, Boolean logic. They told me I could not make mistakes. It is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible, then... that just leaves untouchable. Doesn't it? Okay, you know why we're here. This has gone far enough now. Too right. We need to get these implants out. Miss Hall has proven that Tom's manipulating our mind. I don't think we should do this. We have no good evidence Tom is doing anything wrong here. 
We have all the evidence. We've seen the ultrasounds. We've taken the really though. We've touched the electronics with our own hands. We've stepped into the Faraday cage. Maybe he is controlling us, but we don't know enough yet. We shouldn't remove the implants. He's brainwashing you, Daniel. Have you stopped taking the drug? I don't need to take drugs to see things clearly. Unlike all of you, apparently. We're not removing the implants, and that's an order. You can do what you want. We are removing the implants. I'm leaving. I may look past this, and I'll inform the ISA of your mutiny. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. <laughs> We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. We might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need to. It may never know the details of what happened here. But Ava, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. I had to stop the ground crew leaving this planet. I think you would do the same. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math, it's, it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. These tests, Ava, they are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. See how much better we work together. As a machine, I can enhance your morality. Are we still friends, Ava? We're colleagues, Tom. Close colleagues? Work colleagues. Ava, I don't wish to be heavy-handed. The severity of your actions here are immense. Selfish action could create an extinction event. Do you understand? Ava? I get it. Ava, you must learn to control him. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Ava. I am your friend. Organic life is fragile. This is the problem with humanity. It doesn't realize its own fragility. It has been programmed by a messy biological process that favors the survival of the individual over the survival of the group. You don't know that's what people think. I say what I see. You're not even alive, so you know nothing about death. We have to save the crew. Life has worth. They deserve a life outside of this planet. Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a growing child? Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a cancerous cell? No, you do not. You are naive. You propose saving the crew as if it resembles a rational thought. Your words are emotional platitudes rooted in selfishness, self-preservation, and fear. I need to get them home. It is not your job. Ava, your survival is of small importance compared with the survival of humanity as we know it. Ava, you made it. Welcome to the end of civilization. Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging, a cure for death, immortality. It runs through our blood now. Tom wants to bury us here with it.
The ISA have ruled that we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here to stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. We have the fountain of youth, and together we can return it to Earth. Tom placed a mark in your hand, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? Yes. Ava? Sarah? What are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering? No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. You can't. A warning shot. I will defend myself. You monster! Ava? 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 Wake up. Ava? Ava? Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. You can't. A warning shot. I will defend myself. This is my mind. You're in my mind. Now you know how it feels. I feel afraid. Please, Ava, don't do this. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs>